Well, if you guys are new to sound design and want to start in Massive, I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions about what do these knobs do, what are these graphs, and even what in the world are macros. Well, guess what? Today, you've come to the right video. Hello friends of the internet, it's Vibe Synthetic, your wave producer bringing you the best tutorials, music production tips and tricks and also inspire you through my wave music. So today, we are gonna have a look at Massive, the most daunting VST that you wanna get started into sound design. Now, Massive is actually a very simple, simple VST. All you need to know is how it changes the sounds from the sound generator to the effects and also you need to know the different components that are available in Massive. I'm just going to briefly run through each and every components that are found in Massive today. So, please stay tuned to the video because at the end of the video, I am also going to give you a free Massive resource which is going to show you the Massive visual map so that you can understand since you know that Massive doesn't have any visual reference for you to get started in sound design. Okay, once again, if you're new here to my channel, remember to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button below, and also turn on the post notification bell button so that whenever I release awesome massive tutorial videos like this, you guys will get notified. Now let's dive into the video. Okay, so the first thing you need to know in massive is actually the oscillator section. Now the oscillator section is actually where you generate your sounds is the basic part of Massive where you get the first few sounds and start to modulate in the other sections later on. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about Massive is basically the oscillator section. The oscillator section is these three oscillators that you see. Basically, Massive can have three oscillators stacked on top of each other. You have oscillator 1 and if you turn on oscillator 2, and oscillator 3. What you can do with this oscillator is, is you can choose a couple of sounds that Massive has. I will just pick one and let you guys listen. You can even change the wavetable position. There's also the intensity of how you want it to sound in terms of its character. You can also change the amplitude. Of course, there's also the pitch. And then I can load another one by turning this on and stack it on up. You see, you can turn down the amp of the escalator one. This is just a sine wave, including the escalator one at 50%. Dial up the amp again over 100. So you can actually have more than one oscillators. And of course, in the oscillator section, there's also the white noise section. Um, this one where you can increase the amp, you can hear the white noise. You can choose a couple of white noise that are already found in Massive. You can even adjust the color of it. Yep, and there's also the feedback and modulation oscillator. Now these two are a bit more advanced because um, the modulation oscillator is basically generating your signals from these three and of course the noise uh, into a ring modulator or a phase or position uh, modulation. Um, for the feedback, it's also the advanced level which I'm not going to go through today because this one will require you to look at the routing page of Massive but yeah, so this is basically the oscillator section where you can also assign each and individual oscillators to a specific filter which is filter 1 or filter 2. Now the next section that we're going to look at is more about sound sculpting. When you already have your oscillator set up and you want to sculpt the sound further, there is this thing called the filter section. Now, unlike a low pass filter and a high pass filter, Massive has more than that which has the comb filter and the screen filter. As you can see, the drop down in Massive's filter options. Let's have a look. Now the next thing you want to look at is actually the filter section. This is the second part of the signal chain. So all your oscillators uh, and noise generated from this long section will be output to the filter section. So the filter section has uh, two ways to play around with it. There is the parallel filter which means that filter 1 and filter 2 if they are turned on means that both of these filters are 
affecting the sound that's generated from the oscillator section. Right now, it's in parallel, the series and parallel. So I'm talking about the parallel filtering first. If I were to put it at the middle where you're going for filter one and filter two, in parallel, you hear it. Now, if there's also another way in filtering modes for your oscillators is you can do it in series and you drag this all the way up. Basically, whatever sound that is generated from the oscillator section will hit to filter 1 first before hitting down to filter 2. Okay, so in series mode, we're just going to drag this down to filter 2. Watch as I turn on the filter. Because this is on a low pass, I'm adjusting the low pass first. So say we got this low pass on, and I'm now adjusting the high pass. So basically this filter is adjusting whatever sound output that comes out from this oscillator to filter 1 and then to filter 2. That's how a series filtering works. So there's, there's a lot of filter options that you can choose from uh, in Massive. And the way they work between parallel and series makes your sound a lot more interesting. So I hope you've been following me. The first signal chain will be the oscillators and then the filter section. And now this is the third section which I'm going to talk about which is actually the insert effects section. Now the third one we want to have a look is actually insert effects over here. Now the insert effects is basically effects that you don't put onto the master output of these uh, oscillators. It's more of like putting in effects to a certain point of the generated sound. If you look at the routing tab over here, just for your quick understanding, you can even add a insert one onto the oscillator before it comes to the filter or you can add insert one into the uh, sound that is generated after the filter one. It sounds pretty technical, but this is actually a very powerful feature that's found in Massive. So the insert effects actually has a couple of things. There's a, there's a bit of a beat crusher. There's also a sample hole, sign shaper, hard clipper. And of course you can, example, if I were to put an insert one into an oscillator before the filter, oscillator one before the filter, I'm gonna just turn on the beat crush. Some of it are very subtle, or the hard clipper or the sign shaper. Aside from that, there's also the insert too where you can add another insert into wherever you want as per the routing page. So it's a very powerful um, feature found in Massive and I recommend you to play around with it uh, based on the routing tab. The last basic part of the signal chain in the workflow of Massive is actually your master section. The master section allows you to control the volume, the pan, and even adding some bypass to the whole sound that is being generated from your previous three signal chains. The last section of the massive that is quite important or towards the end of your sound design, you will want to look at the output section. This is where you can add in master effects like reverb or chorus and even an EQ. Uh, this will affect the whole sound that is being routed in the oscillator sections and the filter sections and all the inserts So you can even add some bypass uh, feature that is also quite advanced Also there's the M for panning, the master levels And yeah, so basically this is what you control the final output of your sound that you're designing So it's pretty straightforward right? All these four signal chain sections that I've explained earlier on actually link up together to get your final output of your sound now what else then makes Massive very special as a VST? Now as you might know with the likes of Serum or Vital, Massive is also a subtractive wavetable synthesis program. Now what does this mean is you can actually modulate all of the parameters that you have adjusted in the four signal chains that I explained earlier on and automate them through graphs and even patterns. Now this next part I'm going to talk about is actually the best part about Massive and it's called the modulation section. Just giving you a very basic example of how these oscillators work well with this modulation section. By default, the envelope for the oscillator 1 is on envelope 4. So if you click on envelope 4, this is how the characteristics of the sound. So right now, it has a high decay, uh, high level decay, and the attack is pretty short. If it's longer. Yep. So you can actually shape your sound based on the basics of envelope 4 
the next thing you know there's also the other envelopes and also the other LFOs uh, which can help you adjust your sounds adding a little bit of automation or you will call it modulation to adjust each and every one of these parameters instead of clicking on this knob and turning it down you can actually automate that by using the envelope or the LFO. So LFO tool is something that allows you to input waveforms to control the modulations of your parameters that you want to control. Anything in Massive with the box down below means you can control its parameters. So for example, I want to control the cutoff, right? I want to have that kind of sound effect. I can always drag LFO5 into one of these boxes and I can make it go up and down for LFO modulation it's always left to right or right to left and it comes back to the original point so let's just listen to the LFO 5 going into the cutoff filter so basically you can control all of this using the LFO tool and it's quite powerful if you know how to modulate what the things that you need um, to make your sound a lot more interesting. Now lastly this is a bit more advanced because this is actually the macro control. The macro control is basically modulating a couple of parameters at once. I can use the macro control say I'll drag this macro control to the cutoff and I want to drag this macro control to the pan and as well as the macro control to maybe the pitch of oscillator 1. We are now modulating the pitch, the cutoff and the pan at the same time using one knob. So let's have a listen. So you see how powerful that is, you can modulate as many things as you want within one knob and during production phase usually you, if you got a sweet spot of modulating a few knobs at once and you want to automate this, you can always automate it in machine via the automation tab and let it read this knob. So definitely if you modulate a couple of things at the same time, a uh, couple of parameters like your wavetable position, your uh, pitch, your cutoff or your pan. At the same time when it's being modulated, you'll get a very interesting sound in terms of the, the parameters being moved at the same time. So your sound sort of like evolves and gives you the opportunity to create better sound design through Massive. So I hope you guys have managed to grasp what Massive is because Massive is actually a lot more powerful than what I've just mentioned in this video. What I've mentioned is just a brief outline of what Massive is and it's very simple for you to understand. Now, if you guys want to know anything more about the different sections that are available in Massive and want me to do a tutorial, please hit down in the comments down below so that I can get back to you guys with more informative videos on how to use Massive. Lastly, with reference to this video, I actually have a Massive visual map ready to download in PDF format so that you guys as beginners in Massive can start designing your own sound with the basics that I've just laid out in this video. Go download it via the link in my description box below. And that's all I have for you guys today regarding the basics of Massive. Now, if you guys really like this video, remember to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and also turn on the post notification bell button so that I can give you more Massive tutorials and you guys will get notified. I'm Vibe Synthetic. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.